Hi, it's Chef Rick, and today I'm making Greg's Steak Bake. So the first thing we're going to need for a steak bake is steak. This is rump steak. I've chosen that because it's loaded with flavor and it's fairly inexpensive uh, and there's not a high fat content on there as well. But whatever steak you choose is, is entirely up to you. We want it into small kind of chunks. So we first of all cut long lengths and then each of those lengths we chop up again. Uh, and that way you're gonna get something like that, which is absolutely beautiful, gorgeous steak, ready for your filling. This is how I make a stock, unless I'm really making a proper stock from bones. If ever I say, I'll just use a stock, it's as simple as this, or so use one of those jelly stock pots, uh, and then just add boiling water to slightly less than the packet says. Normally they're about 500 mil, so I'll put about 450 mil in. I just, it's just a weird thing I do, I think it gives me flavor. This is gonna be a, um, what they call a slurry <laughs> of corn flour. So you put some corn flour into one of those ramekins that you've all got at home. Add a little bit of water. You can add milk to this as well, but for this purpose, we're just gonna use water. Mix it around with your finger. Uh, and it takes such a long time, but all of a sudden you find that it mixes. Um, if you leave that now and don't do anything with it, it will totally separate again. It'll go like corn flour and water. So you have to keep mixing it with your finger. Anyway, gonna get a frying pan. We're gonna get it red hot. No oil or anything else like that. We're just going to first of all add our chopped steak. I'm just breaking it up there, just making sure that every little bit of it is touching the pan. This is going to be fairly quick cook on this steak, so you're just going to watch it. Just make sure that each uh, each bit of those each bit of meat there gets a little colour on it. Go. so that's cooking down really nicely that's probably had about you know, two minutes you can see we didn't need oil at all it's just allowed without the oil we've allowed it to kind of catch a little on the bottom of the pan and get a bit more color in there as well it smells fantastic obviously so it's just very very simply steak frying away there so that steak is now cooked like I say that's had about three minutes we're just gonna add some stock uh, some of the beef stock and you add that till all of the steak is surrounded in liquid but it is still thin that is a fairly watery beef stock that's in there uh, but we just want to make sure that enough of the beef is covered obviously all the quantities it will be down in the description below but now we're going to add see just give it one more quick mix with your finger before we pour it in just to make sure it's combined uh, a little bit of that corn flour slurry and that's going to thicken this really kind of quite quickly um, add little and often when you need it you can always add more you can't take this out before you know it, you can totally over thicken it so just add a little splash of that corn flour uh, slurry but you'll see now uh, that it's combining with the stock and it's making a really lovely beef gravy I mean, it's about the simplest beef gravy you could ever uh, have but that's the basis of any gravy really so you can see now that the meat is absolutely beautiful it's getting really nice and covered in that gravy if you wanted to add a little bit more liquid you could just put a bit more stock in there if that was way too thin just put a bit more of the slurry but that's the kind of consistency that we're looking for that's absolutely perfectly cooked beef in a beautiful gravy leave that to cool completely on the side now we're going to take some phyllo pastry and use shop bought you don't need the big brand one i use tesco's it's the uh, i always find it's the best one um, you're going to cut this up into roughly the same size pieces uh, and now we're going to make an egg wash as well an egg wash is where we'll just take an egg whisk it till it's a liquid uh, and then this is just going to be used first of all as a bit of a glue between the two sheets so we're just going to put an egg wash around the bottom of one of these sheets there just around the corners and then fill it with your steak mixture keep it all nice and in the center so it doesn't fill out you know pour out the sides but be nice and generous you know put a fair amount in there because um, you want this to be a lovely mouthful as you're eating it uh, onto the top of that goes a your matching sheet push that down with your fingers this is ultimately going to go onto a baking tray as well. Uh, for some reason, I don't know if it, I, I didn't film that bit where I put it on a baking tray, but you're just going to see me magically move this to one side and it's going to come back cooked, but it goes onto a hot baking tray um, in an oven at 200 degrees. But we'll fork the edges like that, that combines them all. And just using a knife, I put six slits in it. I saw on the Greg's website, that's what they do. But any kind of little pricks with a fork or slits for the knife, whatever on with the egg on the top the egg wash that we used also was the glue to seal the two sheets together 
just get that all over the top. That's gonna to give us a really, really beautiful color. And now this goes onto a baking tray into an oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. And here's what's produced. It's a Greg's steak bake. Um, it's identical to what you would get in the shop, although mine, it's got kind of a more beefy flavor, more steaky flavor to it. It's the easiest thing in the world. It's super delicious. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you make it yourself. Thank you for the viewing. I'll see you on the next one.